It isn't every day that you will see law enforcement and kids standing side by side, guns in both of their hands. But on this rural shooting range, it's a good thing. The event is called Pull for the Blue. Kids from rural southern Kansas schools paired up with law enforcement to see who is better at trap shooting. The difficult sport is based on a simple concept. Shoot down the flying disc, also called the clay pigeon, get a point. But in these matches, more was on the line than winning. Harper County Sheriff Tracy Chance. Just the camaraderie with the kids, getting them to know my officers, my deputies. Um, us getting to know them a little more. We enjoy that. It's a pretty unique way for law enforcement and kids to bond with a shotgun and these little clay discs, but out here in Harper County, it's working. The kids only rarely missed. Just take South Barber senior Slater Blick. Oh. He says through this trap shooting event, he learned a good relationship with law enforcement is possible. We're just wanting to spread that they're not that bad and we can build a positive relationship with these people. Other students like Kyler Acord agree. Get to know them better and get better relationship with them. The kids are led in practice by their coach, Sidney Burkholder. On the line. He started a trap shooting program for students at the Anthony Gun Club to give the facility some new life. And when the chance came to help these kids meet and interact with law enforcement in a positive way, he jumped at the opportunity. Just to give them a chance to have a relationship with one another without it being in a stressful situation out in the country. The shoot wasn't really about who was going to win. Granted, everyone had their money on the kids. Oh, I know they're going to win. <laughs> That's why. But it did not matter who won because no one really lost. This game could only go on to help these kids learn about law enforcement and build a relationship for the better. In Harper County, Brian Ramsdale, Cake News.